everyone, I am Mami Sika, your number one castle ambassador. Today I am at Blue Rose City and I'm going to be interviewing one of the few female talents in Ghana. I hope you enjoy this video. Kindly hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come along with me. I'm Doris Deku. I'm 28, 29 years of age and I completed junior high school in 2010. I wanted to continue but I lost my parents along the way so I couldn't continue. So from there I started selling food um, at an estate around that area. So through the selling then I got pregnant and I gave birth. After giving birth I continued with the food. Then I met a guy who was into tiling. I just like the way he makes the mortar and then laid it out. So I just like it. I went to him and I said, ah, can you train me? I want to know how to tile. Then he said, Madam, please don't try it. Tiling is not meant for ladies. So I will tell you that you should continue with your food selling or go and learn how to sew or do hairdressing. Then I told him, yeah, just the way I see it, it's very easy. And he said, if you are far, you see that it is easy, but when you try it, then I said, okay. So anytime I go to the site, I used to worry him that he should teach me. But he always told me I can't do it. So I, I take it out of my mind. And then later, around one year before I heard of an NGO called the UD, yeah, they, they were training youth in construction so in the beginning because the guy told me tiling is for men so when i heard of tiling over there i didn't choose it i chose interior decoration i was thinking that was the easiest one i can do but a month for us to meet our masters i found out that 90 percent of the youth are all found in interior decoration so i was asking myself we are all in the same area if you all learn the same trade how are we going to get work to do and even if you have one contract and you call one friend another one will say you got this person you didn't call me then it will tend to be like you don't you like some you are discriminating yeah so i also think that the way we are playing how can the the master train all of us at the same time so i asked if i can change um, the interior decoration to something else then they said yes so that day i just told myself i'm going to go and try tiling and see how how far it will take me so that is how i got into tiling wow yeah. so how long have you been tiling i've been tiling for three years now three years yes. and you have your own company now yeah, I have a registered company called Ansadi Ventures. And then I have seven workers and then there are five trainers okay. as I'm working with now. Alright. So do you enjoy talent? Would you say it's your passion? Sure. As as first, I would not say no, but now I'm in. Whenever I'm on the site working and then I'm going up and down and stretching my work and do this, go here. I feel okay and very happy and then I love the work because um, it's I'm gaining and then earning every day yeah. day in day out I'm getting money um, my contract is moving on and then my apprentice they are also working very well yeah. and then my workers as well so I'm very happy I didn't even know if I was if I should continue with my education it will take me to where Thailand has taken me. Okay. Because because of Thailand, I've got the opportunity to travel outside Ghana. I am not sure if I should attend school. Someone will come and tell you because you were able to finish near high or invest, so I'm taking you outside. Yeah. But if someone just saw what you are doing and he said, 
your story can motivate others so i want to take you outside to go and share your life story wow that's amazing yes. so i would say tiny i've never dreamed of owning a passport <laughs> but because of thailand i will be using my passport to travel and i may say it has taken me far and then a lot of people have known me that i don't even know them yeah. because of thailand yes yeah. so i will say it has really helped me and it has taken me to different parts of the world and i've seen that you've been training other females in thailand as well yeah yeah, I've been so far. I've trained like I've trained three girls now, okay. and they're also working. And I always tell them that it's not easy to start, but yes. when you start and you have the training, it is in your hands. No one will take it from you. Yeah. And they are also doing it as their profession. But since I started the training, I've been seeing other ladies who are into construction, but not in time. Yeah. Yeah. So you can say you are the pioneer. <laughs> I will say I'm the mentor to them now. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, of course, you are a lady in the construction world. Being a Tyler, I'm sure you face so many challenges. How do you handle your challenges? Uh, it's not easy. Starting from when I started the training. I mean, my master, the one who trained me, even did not believe in me. <laughs> he felt like when he asks you to do something like cut a pieces or mix a mortar and I know who to do it all, then he will tell you, he told you this work is for men. He said you will do it. Look at your color, how beautiful you are. You go and sit at some office, you are here saying you want to do construction. It will not help you. So like even my master who trained me from the beginning he, he was not too sure if I can do it. Then I told him one day that all the boys who train, they, they all came to you with empty minded. Yeah. And you train them to become a professional. So how you train them, I believe when you train me the same way, it will, I, I'll do and do it well. Then he said, okay. And then I started, those I met, some will tell you, your body will tend to be like, man, you can't be fair. You, the way I'm fair, I'll tend to be black because of the mortar and the cement and then I put it upon myself that even if I have the training and then I didn't use it as my profession when they are looking for like 2016 those they train inside it my name will be there and I'll be okay with that than doing nothing so through the training I got the opportunity to I registered them and be clear. then I wrote the experience they do one so if like I didn't I didn't learn it well, I, I don't believe I'll pass the NBT, but I pass very well. Which is the Thailand exam? Yes. Okay. Pass well. Yeah. So the challenge is through the so after my training I got my company registered and then I started working and then the customers to I met when they have big contracts they will not give all to you. <laughs> It's like they don't believe a lady can do it. Yeah. yeah. So when I go and the contract is there, they'll ask you that you alone. Don't don't call anybody. Go and tell like one bathroom for us to see. If you are able to do it well, you are good to take your contract. So that is how I started there. They'll give me a small portion for me to do as an example for them to, to convince them to give me the contract. So that is how I started. So from there, when I got the contract and the guys, those I have to work to, they also feel that they are men and they are in the, the sector before I'm coming. I'm new, but yeah. uh, they find it difficult to work under me. Being And then I'm not a man, I'm a lady, very young too. So it's difficult for me to even get workers at that time. So it got to a point I have to go to them one on one tell them do something and um, when we go to the site you all work like neighbors i'll mix water for you i'll cut pieces for you if it's water anything you say to me i'll go and do it so that when someone comes to the site the person will not know that someone is a boss when someone comes we are all equal yeah. 
so it's through there that i got three guys we started working and then when we need more hands i told them then they'll call their friends and that is how the company starts growing somehow yeah. so speaking about your company what goals do you have for your company my company as of now um i'm looking forward in the next five years at least you get like i'll get like 10 percent of ladies that have trained in thailand because the ladies are there they don't know what to do with their lives and so i'm here that any lady who is ready that you want to go into thailand and don't know where to go and find it difficult to go to a man to train them and them to train them Yes, even if the person is facing it for child, financial problem or anything, the person can let you know. I'll help the person. Because I want to see more ladies in construction. Yeah. Yes, I want to be, I want to also encourage other ladies, even if it's not tiny in the business. Other thing concerning construction, I want my company to be an advisor to them. Okay. And also, uh, answer deep ventures will not be like um, tiling alone. Okay. So, uh, in the next future, the five to six years, when you come to answer deep ventures, when you want painters, carpenters, anything concerning building from beginning to the end, you get it at answer deep ventures. And also, you are looking forward to open a, a shop where we'll be selling building materials and then house as well. What would you like to say to the young girls out there like me that want to do something different, something that is considered a man's job? What would you say to us? Yeah, I want to tell those outside there that, especially the female, our young ladies out there, that anything concerning construction, I will urge them that they should do it. And because construction is ongoing every day day in day out they are building i'm not sure someone uh, any of us or the whole world they will start building day in day out we will build when you give it your child will grow and come and build so there are a lot of opportunity out there in construction for us to get the men are enjoying it so many years and they are still in it if like they are not getting anything they have stopped long ago so i'll ask them that they should go into it and then when you have the training and you are out there working you shouldn't just go and work because i'm a tiler i'm a painter no work with professional work very well so that when someone comes around and see your work your work will advertise for you there's no you going to stand somewhere and advertise that i'm a tiler i can tell this i can know when you do small work and it is very neat and beautiful, when the person enters and sees the work, the person who who did this, can you, I want the person to come back. Most of my work that I've done so far is through referrals. Yeah. I just work for someone, the person who offends me to add so now. So I want to, and then especially the young girls who are, let me say, unfortunately are giving birth to one and they think, the world has come to an end for them or they are pregnant now i want to tell them that if you are pregnant or you are giving birth it doesn't mean you have spoiled it doesn't mean you have to or that is the end of your life or no matter what it is because you are pregnant so you have to go and stay with the man whether the man is ready for you or not no if you are pregnant or you are giving birth that is not the end just take care of the child to extend. When you see that she, he or she can go to school, just get a school for the child and then do something with your life. Even if, if you you don't have support and you are ready that you want to have a training or sell something, I believe someone will help you. But when you sit somewhere, always holding your baby that, please, can you get me something for I and my daughter or I and my son? So the person will feel that you are depending on them. But when a child gets to a stage, then you stand. And then you work very hard. Where I am now, if if I don't tell you that I have a child, you'll never know. Mm -hmm. I'm still young because 
I was I I le I sent a child to school at the early stage, and then I started something with my life. The man I'm giving birth to now, I'm not sure if he can get closer to me now. <laughs> As at that time, I was very young. I was 20 years, yes. But now, God has been so good. But if like nine years to come now, that I was still at one side, can you get me to city to buy food for my daughter and stuff? I'll still have be at the stage one. Yes. But because I move a step, that I want to do something with my life. Here I am now, sharing my life story, and then I'm telling them that if they also work very hard, they also get to why and even go ahead of me. So I'll urge every woman that if you are giving birth and you are not married, that is not the end of your life. And then our parents too. When your daughter gets pregnant, don't let her go just like that because she's pregnant, so she should go and stay with the man. But that is the time they need more love. They should love them and then get them closer to them. When they give birth, they should take the child and then if it is school, they should continue. If it is straight, they should take, they should let them go. Because if you let the child go like that and the marriage didn't work out, she will come back again and yes. she will be a burden to you again. So it's better when she gets pregnant, you take her along with you. When she gives birth, you take the child. You advise her more and then you send her to either train or if it is business, you let her start. When she starts getting money, she will remember that my mommy is having my daughter or my son. And she will remember you and be sending you small, small money. Yeah. So I, that's what I want to tell my parents. Because when I, gave, I, I got pregnant, my parents were there to do it. But my sister was there for me. I stayed with her till I gave birth. And she also gave birth alone. So she was breastfeeding two babies. Wow. So I have to leave her. I have to leave my daughter and go and sell. <laughs> then I'll come in the evening, then I'll come and continue with the breast. So when breastfeeding. So she was there for me. I would not say if she wasn't there, I didn't know as a that how I'll manage my time. I have to be going with the baby. But if they are available, they should take the child and then let the, the child's mother do something. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. So that's my advice to our parents and then our young ladies. Thank you so much for the encouraging words and thank you for telling us about your life. I hope you enjoyed the video. Can you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Remember that a brand new one, but life is how you make it. Till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>